Okay, so what I have is a multi-track recording of a band. It's playing from Digital Performer on my Mac computer, and it's routed into the DL16S with a USB cable. I have set all the inputs to USB. That way we get the audio from the USB. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play. I'm just going to get some basic levels real quick, a little quick balance of instruments, panning, and then we'll put some reverb on stuff. So let's do the kick drum. Kick, snare drum. Toms. Just a little bit of toms. We don't need a whole bunch. Not for this. Symbols over the head. We'll just put that up a little bit. Bass. Let's listen to the kick and the bass together just to make sure they're kind of in line with each other. It's horns. This is a pad sound. Guitar. We'll pan this to the right here a little bit, maybe. Hi-hat's too loud. Turn Robin up, the vocalist. We're going to leave the, these other background vocals turned down for now. What I'm going to do is I am going to put a compressor on her real quick. Compressor. Let's do a soft knee. Come on. And let's do ratio about, oh, quite a, pretty heavy because she is really exaggerating a lot of stuff. Gain up just a skosh. And let's go back and listen again. Ooh, that's way too much. you know I love you more. Okay, I think it sounds pretty good. Now, what we need to do is put some reverb on stuff. Over here in the mix selector, these are all of our monitor mixes. First we're going to do real quick is set up a monitor mix for Robin. Assuming you already know how to label all this stuff. And we're going to make uh, the color. The color's fine. Okay. Let's go back down here to effects one. And hit effects up here. That's where you get to all your four effects. Here's the slot one. I wish you could tell that these were selected. It's two grays. One is ever so slightly darker than the other. Almost impossible to tell that you've selected it. Okay, effects select medium room. That's good. I'm going to go back to effects one. And this is where we see all the channels that we can push sound into that effect. The master is up. Good. Effects one. And let's label this burb. All right. Okay. Now, we want ever so slightly kick drum in there just a little bit. Enough to help if it's real quiet passage. Snare drum quite a bit. Hi-hat no. Toms don't really need much... Uh, Got to remember, toms, if they're not gated, are going to have tons of cymbals and hi-hat junk in them. 
no ho no uh, overhead ever so slight bit of bass horns should have quite a bit key pad or just a little bit it's probably okay on its own guitar and of course robin should probably be a little bit hotter than everybody else so those are the amount of levels that are going to go into this reverb it's not reverb it's those dry signals going into the reverb if we look at this first effects which is we which is a reverb it's post fader and that's what we want right there we want post fader okay so let's go back to our main mix and listen again let's go down here to the reverb returns I, I stop for a second these are called reverb or effects returns because we're sending the audio to those effects that doesn't give us any effect it just sends signal over there but we need to hear that effect and we need to add that back into our mix so that's why these are called returns so let's turn this reverb up I'm gonna turn it up quite a bit we're hearing quite a bit of snare drum and vocal which is what we did snare drum might be too much so we have to go back down to effects lower the and the horn uh, is a little bit much too back to our main mix now let's lower that to a level that is decent it's nothing So we have nice reverb, sounds decent to me. We didn't tweak anything in that reverb. We just loaded up medium room, left it exactly the way it was, and you know what? It's pretty good. Let's move on. We've just been asked by Robin for some reverb in her monitors, in her in-ear monitors. So let's go to her monitor mix right there. And this happens to be mono. She's just got mono in ears they're cheap they're not nice stereo ones uh, so let's make sure that uh, aux 2 is turned up this is the master for her mono in ear mix we're going to go through and we're just going to guess okay we're just going to guess at what she is going to need to hear in her uh, mix now this is really not up to her to decide right off the bat what we'd have to do is we have to turn things up at a level that we would want if we were in her shoes okay and if we do this with a little bit of common sense she's probably going to be pretty happy right off the bat and she won't be bothering you asking for lots of changes or asking to borrow one of your ipads <laughs> okay so uh those are i'm sorry i'm swiping back and forth so fast so okay so those are the levels that are going into her mix we have her mix set to pre fader which is exactly what we want we want to be able to move our faders in the main mix and know that we're not messing with any of her levels so these faders in her mix get audio before our faders that's pre fader we could just raise this reverb that we put uh, for the audience front of house but she's going to hear reverb from all the other instruments and what she really meant when she asked for reverb in her mix what she really meant to say was Dan could you put a little bit of my vocal in a reverb in my mix and I would say sure now in order for me to send her reverb of just her voice 
along with other instruments, of course. I would have to create a separate reverb for her. And let's label this Robin verb. All right. So that's going to be Robin verb. Oh, and we're going to make it uh, the same color as her. How about that? Uh, so we're going to go back over to our main mix, to our mix select. But now we're going to go down to effects 2. All right. This is going to be a dedicated reverb for just Robin's voice. The, the master by default is already set to unity gain or 0 dB. Effects 2, let's label this Robin verb. You probably are asking, we, we just did that. What we just did a while ago was we named the reverb return Robin verb. What we're doing here is we're labeling the effects send number two, effects to send. So we labeled that. Now we have to inject or insert a reverb of our choosing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one. I'm going to make the same exact reverb that we had in our main mix. All right. Back to the main mix, I'm going to unpatch the left and right outputs, and I'm going to patch the signal for this video so that you get to hear what we would be feeding her in-ear monitors. All right, here we go. If we mute this, we hear nothing. Good. So what we have to do now is, what we've done is, we're listening to her mix, okay? But I hear reverb her voice. That's because our main reverb is going to her mix. We don't want that. Maybe we could do a little bit. But what she's going to want to hear is just the reverb from her vocal. So let's turn it up. Notice we don't have anything. That's because we didn't send anything to her reverb. So we have to go back down here to her voice, put it up. Now we're sending just her voice to effects 2. Now we're going to go back to her mix and listen. There it is. Now she has reverb of just her voice. Oh, that's way too much pre delay. That's not the same as this. I must have bumped that. I think it was 38, 38 milliseconds. Let's just load this again just to make sure so I don't make, make a mistake. All right. Because that sounded really long and muddy, and that's because the pre-delay was set real long. This sounds terrible. This reverb we like for our mains. I want that same exact reverb for her vocal. So let's, to make sure it's identical, let's store this preset and name it Robin Verb, okay? Robin verb. Now we can go here and add a preset. And we look here. There it is, Robin verb. Do we want to recall this preset? Yes. So now if we look at the two different reverbs, they are identical. That's a good way to make sure that you have the same sound by copying the one you like. Now let's listen again. <laughs> Okay, so you can tell that's just her vocal. Now we have the luxury of giving her some reverb on her vocal in her mix. And of course, these are the levels for what she's hearing in that mix. 
little, maybe a little more guitar. Oh, that's Robin, sorry. Great. Let's go back to our main mix. To recap, we just created two reverbs, okay? One for the mains and one for Robin's monitor. Let's do one more thing. Let's set up a delay. Let's use uh, effects three for a mono delay. Effects select, mono delay, perfect. And if we know the tempo is, hey, 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 we're just guessing from memory. All right, so now what we have is a third effect. Let's label this DDL, that's digital delay. And we'll make this one blue. All right, digital delay. Now what we can do is we're gonna go over here Oh, notice it's purple. See, that's confusing to me. I want that to be blue. Uh, colors are great. Let's go to the effects, the third effect, and let's make this color blue, and let's also label it, okay? Perfect. Now that's the send. What about the return? Okay, verb, rob, and verb, and DDL. So we've already labeled the return. Now that we're in this DDL, effect, the third one, we can now choose what we want to be echo, 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 echo. And it would be just her voice. So let's raise that up to a zero dB somewhere on there. Now in order to hear that delay, we need to raise it, bring it back into the mix. That's our returns. Remember these are our effect returns. So let's play this again. We're already sending the delay to her voice all the time but the only time we hear it okay is when we raise this but the real proper musical way to do this is to not raise and lower this when you want the echo to happen like at the end of a phrase the best way would be is to raise this up to the level that you need and go back here and ride this level let's go back to the main mix and listen. So let's put this up. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here to the DDL master and turn this down. There, I've been before, I think is the lyric. So we're gonna put it on before, and you don't have to really get be, before. We're gonna raise it up on oh, so the echo gets oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I, I missed it. Four and more. Try that again. Not enough. Let's try it one more time. Okay, so what I'm hearing right now is really good, but all I'm really hearing is one echo of her lyric. So let's go to the mono delay. And we have a feature here called feedback. First of all, the delay time, that's determined by the tempo that we tapped in here. Tap, 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 550 milliseconds. Tap, 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 just tap, 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 okay? The feedback, is how many times we hear that echo. Now listen, if we raise this, I'm gonna raise it a lot to make a difference. Oh, sorry, we have to go back because I didn't have the master turned up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, that's pretty ridiculous. D 
the only other suggestion I would make for this situation with reverb and delay, which is the two common things with pop music, certainly, and that would be to take and put an EQ on the delay. And it's a good idea to cut the highs because we really don't want if there's an S in a lyric, we don't want that S to go tss, tss, tss. We just want the meat of the note. So let's try this again. There's a good example of why you need to use the send to send delay, to, to send her voice to the delay. Because if you raise and lower the return, you have to understand that it, if the send is left turned up, even though you're not listening to it, it's still echoing the previous lyric. You don't want that. What you want is just the one lyric. So you have to live over here during the mix on this master going to the delay. Try it again. Now let's go back over here and change this. Let's try it again. There's all kinds of other effects in there. Uh, you could go down to the fourth one. We could do a stereo delay. Now, let's go back and listen one more time. So in the stereo delay, you'll notice that it's bouncing on the left and right channels the same. In order to make this stereo, tap, 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 tap. Too busy, but a cool effect, nonetheless. If you have any questions, post your questions in the comments section and I will respond. And if you've enjoyed this video, click on the PayPal link. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.